Hi guys, how's it going? So today's video is a little bit more special. It's really dedicated to you, the subscriber, the fan, my friends, my family, partners to the channel, and anyone else who has supported the channel or supports the channel in any way. So I really wanted to make this a complete unedited, unedited sorry, experience, um, taking it from the live kind of videos and really wish you, you know, a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year and just look back as to where we were, you know, a year from now, look at the year and, and, and how we're, where we're perhaps heading in the future. But first of all, thank you so much for the love that you've shown to the channel because this time last year we had just a few hundred subscribers to the family, to the community of Your Essentials and, and we've we managed to break our milestone together. I mean, I asked you to share the videos when we were around 4,000. Come on, guys, let's try and finish at 5,000 by the by Christmas, if possible. And, and and we managed to make it. You know, thanks to you, we really managed to make it. We broke the 5,000, and that was an amazing milestone. Um, you know, it it it's, it was just fantastic. Um, and and your love throughout the whole year has just been incredible. As I said, you know, we had just a few hundred people in the community this time last year and now we're at 5,000. It's just, I know our channel is still growing and we're still very much at the beginning, don't get me wrong. Um, and compared to other, we can always compare ourselves to the bigger fish, right? But at the end of the day, where we are, I'm very happy, I'm ecstatic, I'm astonished, I'm amazed, I'm inspired, I'm motivated. And I just feel so positive about where we're heading in the future because I know that any channel, any form, any platform that can grow a community is all good for the entire VR and AR industry as a whole. It's not just about us, it's not just about VR essentials, it's about the fact that we're contributing towards a cause which speaks more volumes more than who we are and what we do, but we're contributing towards that mission of you know evolving the world, trying to better the world, trying to make people feel more together because we have to get off our phones, you know, we're always on our phones and, and it creates so much distance and it's great to talk to people on the phone, but there's such a dissociation between humans now that VR really brings us closer. It breaks the boundary of phones and when you're talking to someone in VR, it just feels amazing and you have that sense of presence with someone else, just like when you're talking to a real human next to you. And then, of course, VR Fitness, I really miss my quest, you know. I, I, I know this year has had so many controversies with Facebook and, and in terms of the channel, we decide not to get the Quest 2. And, you know, if you're an Oculus Quest user, that's, that's great. That's great for you. If it works for you, if it brings you into VR, you know what, that's fantastic for you. Um, you know, and I think that's fantastic. But the fact is, yeah, I also miss my quest in many respects because it has brought me so much joy for my VR fitness. I, I haven't really been able to do so much VR fitness anymore, um, you know, because with, with the Pico, which is a fantastic headset, um, it doesn't have the content as we mentioned in other videos. So, you know, it'd be great if more people could produce content for the Pico because the Pico is a really great headset for standalone. Um, you know, please, if you're a developer, develop stuff for Pico, it would be fantastic because then we could use, we have more options in the world of VR. We're not just stuck bound to Facebook, even though they've developed an amazing headset. It would be great to have more options. Um, and Deca Gear are going to be releasing, of course, their headset next year, but it's not going to be anywhere near this because it's going to be a very prototypey kind of headset to begin with. And then it will take them a few years to get to where, you know, Pico is today, basically, right? Um, but we're very much looking forward to that headset too. So VR Fitness has been amazing and it's really something that I hope will develop more. And as I mentioned, VR, VR Essentials is just part of the ecosystem. And it's just great that our channel is growing because it means more and more people are getting into VR, more and more people are getting curious about VR. There are many people on the platform, on the channel, who are not necessarily in VR, but they're curious about VR. So they subscribe and they get to know what's going on and they get in the know. And then hopefully, you know, they, they make that decision to actually purchase a VR headset and get into VR and then continuously follow what we're doing. So thank you so much on that front. And then, of course, 
this year has also been the year of meeting so many, so many different people in VR. There's so many communities on Facebook, Reddit, Twitter, you know, it's just so many different people, you know, uh, that I want to thank, that I've built relationship with. And I'm so sorry if I haven't mentioned your name. This is live and I'm maybe I forget. Um, but, you know, Alex VR, you're a great guy. Um, thanks so much for your friendship. You know, it's very hard to, um, you know, find people you can really trust and, and talk to. And especially when it comes to competitors uh, who could use that information against you. Um, but, you know, Cass and Cherry, thanks so much also for, for your support, your inspiration. Uh, Sebastian Ung from MRTV is great. To talk to you and yes i'll have that chili crab for you you know because he lived in singapore um you know and and russell you have from hot shot 80s you have a great channel i love what you're doing i think your music videos are definitely something you should continuously doing because it's only a matter of time before mtv and vh1 and you know billboard and rolling stone magazine you know see your thing and then go wow this guy is doing some awesome things uh, using, you know, VR chat or whatever you're using to do your music videos, um, you know, and VR reviews, you're a new YouTuber, but you know, you know, keep doing what you're doing is fantastic. It's nice to have that, um, you know, competitivity to, to motivate us to, to do stuff. Uh, Millie Young also, you're very new too, I know, but, um, you know, you're awesome. What you're doing is fantastic. Um, you know, uh, Steve knows, thanks for, you know, subscribing to the channel as well. Um, you know, it's really fantastic. Natey also for coming to the channel and commenting now and then. I love what you do. And of course, you're a huge inspiration to the entire community. Uh, Tyro also for coming to the channel, time, you know, here and there, um, you know, and commenting. Um, it's just it's just really fantastic. Um, and, and there's so many more other YouTubers, Rick Webb also. And you have, you know, and the other Russell who has a community on Facebook as well. Um, you know, and there's so many more. So. It's been great. And also meeting other people like partners, all the various different game developers called Tobia uh, Studios. And there's so many more studios, um, you know, and I'll, I'll, I'll put a list at the end of this video to thank you, uh, just in case I may have forgotten, uh, for providing us keys, you know, and reviewing your apps for, for other people on the channel to be able to, you know, um, find out more information about. Just thank you so much for your support on that. And all the, of course, the... You know, um, the indie developers too, you know, thank you so much for approaching us. Uh, it's been a blast to, to review your apps as well. Uh, Octopus, for example, one of them, um, you know, and just thank you so much. And then also this year has been a great year because we've, you know, we launched our, our, merch, our merch store and thank you so much for, for purchasing our merch. Uh, we try to work with, um, you know, collaborators, designers, one of them being Elizabeth Go, who's an amazing woman who's produced some really cool designs. And, you know, we haven't released all her designs yet because we want to keep the surprise, uh, keep the intrigue. But, you know, you guys have really loved the VR shark and you've really loved the octopus uh, wearing the VR headset playing Beat Saber. You've really liked that kind of stuff. So, you know, and please send us the pictures when you, and none of you have sent us the pictures yet, but please send us the picture when you receive it so we can give you a shout out on the website or, you know, on the channel, you know, it'd be really fantastic. We really want to, you know, that's another thing. We developed the website this year. I know it's a very simple website. We haven't gone, you know, um, you know, f all out on it, but we're just testing. It's in a beta. You know, we just want to see how you guys respond to it, but we really want to develop the website more as well. So the more you go and see it, the more you go and visit it. And thank you so much. We get about, you know, between a thousand to 2000 people every month going to visit the website. I mean, it's, Absolutely amazing. Thank you so much for that. And we will develop it as more and more people come to the website, um, you know, and, and make it just better, you know. So the website and the YouTube channel go hand in hand and the merch store, the website and the YouTube, YouTube channel go uh, hand in hand. So, you know, thank you again for, for, for your support there too. And we will release, as I said, more designs for the merch store. So you have more options, more ways to support the channel. And there will be a patron page at some stage but at the moment i just don't feel that it's something that we should release um but maybe in the future of course in the future we will release but more importantly you know let's talk about the future together as to how the channel is going to develop and what we're going to be doing because thanks to your support also the channel will develop and we'll be able to implement more things now before covid as you know um you know i had another business called vrparties.sg um 
where I supplied VR entertainment to corporate companies and people when they did parties or team building things. And I would go there and I would basically bring all the different Oculuses at the time uh, and Oculus Go's um, to the events. And, and it would just, we did close to 2,000 demos. Can you believe it? Close to 2,000 people tried VR before the whole COVID came and just wiped out the entire business. Um, you know, and we had to start from scratch again. Um, but, you know, it was really fantastic times and the content I was building then, you know, I was doing a lot of interviews with influencers here in Singapore, getting people to the studio. We did some incredible things, uh, you know, with some DJs, with some uh, manga influencers. And some of this has actually been held back, put in the can, as they say. And hopefully I will release it, you know, throughout 2021, even though it was shot in 2020. Um, or very beginning of 2020, late 2019. For example, I went to China. I traveled around China because I used to live in China. We did some collaborations with the Youth Olympic boxing team. Um, we also did some collaborations, collaborations with some musicians from the China um, Orchestra, the National Orchestra of China. Uh, you know, just trying to see how VR would help these guys and how it would whether it would bring any benefits whatsoever. And I did also some interviews with a director who does a lot of VR 360, um, you know, movies and stuff. And, you know, I, I hold back to all that because I just didn't feel the platform was ready yet to release all that content. And I really want to do more of that content. I want to get out of the studio as we grow to 10,000, 15,000, 20,000 subscribers. You know, we have a lot of plans. Uh, HP are going to be submitting more stuff to us, which I'll talk about very shortly. Uh, and get out of the studio, do more collaborations as, you know, COVID dies down and, and, and you know, the, the, the vaccine becomes less taboo and more and people take it because, you know, we all see that, in fact, the vaccine could potentially be actually very healthy for all of us. And also, hopefully, COVID will die down and not spread more or become more dangerous. You know, when that happens, when that day happens, which will probably be, be in a year, I would imagine, we will start to get out of the studio more. We will do more collaborations with people, um, just be more interactive, do some games. You know, we, we won't just stay here and do, of course, we will still do reviews of apps and hardware and news and all this kind of stuff as to what we can do in the studio. But we will also go out more. Like, you know, when I went to the China uh, VR, um, VR cinema, you know, with my wife and we together, we, we did that video. I really want to do more of that stuff. Um, you know, even though the channel, as I said, it wasn't ready for that. It, it, of course, we're, we're tied between what we really want to do as a creative and what we, we, we have to do in order to drive the views and the subscribers. It, they're very different things, you know. Um, and, and December has been such a learning curve because, as you know, I produced about 40 videos this month. A lot of days I produced one after the other, one day after the other. And some days we produce two videos a day. Um, it's been such a a ride of energy and, and, you know, pumping so much content out. And, and, and yeah, it can leave you feeling very tired because sometimes a lot of that content isn't necessarily creative. But I have to say that, um, you know, in terms of the future, I really want to bring in more special effects into the videos and more creativity, play around with typography, play around with... I mean, I don't know if you saw one of the videos, I actually transformed myself and made myself look really old, like 50, 60 years old. That's because I'm trying to learn more techniques. I'm trying to keep those creative juices going to make the channel more interesting. Um, you know, to me, it's important not just to make information just about information, but also make information to look, just give you that sense of, wow, how did you do that? Or just, I don't know, just make the videos, I guess, a little bit more interesting, even though, honestly, we don't have to do that. I, I could just do videos with no color correction, no sound correction no special effects, no nothing whatsoever, and just give that to you. But to me, I just feel we have to push ourselves. It's how we get better. It's how we, 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 we make the world go around and, and make the world not just more interesting, but a better place as a whole. So in the future, I also want to go into schools. I also want to go into orphanages. I also want to try to see how we can use VR to make the world a much better place and just get out of the studio. So the moment that we can start doing that, believe me, I will do that because that's that's what I was actually doing before COVID. That is exactly what I was doing before COVID. And that's exactly where I was hoping the channel would go. But unf unfortunately with COVID, uh, of course, we had to pivot, change everything and just adapt. 
you know, we all had to adapt. It's been a really tough year for a lot of us. And I just want to, you know, also mention this very quickly that, you know, not thank, not just thank you for going to the channel, subscribing, commenting, liking, watching, but also, and, and also for going to the merch store and purchasing stuff there and going to the website, but also because you actually went, some of you went to our affiliate links in the description. And now we don't get a lot of percentage back. We get about 3% per item that you may purchase. But you know what? Thanks to you, I've had so many problems with my mic this year. But thanks to you, I've managed to buy a new transmitter. It's coming in January 6th. I have so many problems with this. I have to tweak it. I can't put it, I can't because it will break and you can tell there's some issue with the treble. I have to, oh man, it's so horrible to, to tweak this mic. It's broken basically. I stepped on it by mistake. I dropped it a few times and you know, I should have taken care, more care of it basically. And I managed to buy a new one, thanks to you. Not with my money, but thanks to the affiliate money I managed to accumulate from the purchases you made on Amazon through the links that I posted below. So I want to thank you because you don't know how much this means to me. Um, you know, it's been really it's been a really tough year for me personally. Honestly, it's been really tough. And being able to afford a new mic, um, you know, it, it's only 100 US, but honestly speaking, 100 US means a lot to me. It, it means a lot to me. So just thank you so much. You, you don't seem to understand how much your support to the channel has meant in so many different ways. You've supported this channel and the platform. It's meant so much to me in so many different ways. And I just want to, from the bottom of my heart, um, just thank you so much. So I'm really looking forward to the future. I'm so thankful to this last year together. We've grown from a few hundred people, a few hundred to five, to more than 5,000 now, almost 5,100 as we're talking. And I just want to thank you, sincerely thank you so much. And you know, there's nothing more I can add to this video. Honestly, there's nothing more. So if there's any suggestions that you have, anything that you want to see on this channel as we progress, Leave your comments below. Just comment. Just leave a suggestion. I'll look at it. Um, but other than that, you know, just thank you. Have a wonderful Christmas, an amazing Happy New Year. And let's together hope that, of course, 2021 will be a much better year than 2020 for a lot of us. And other than that, just have a great time with your family and your friends. And, and I know that we're all here together to help one another. So Merry Christmas to you guys and a Happy New Year. Bye.